Hello, everyone. Steve Siebel back with publicspeakersblog.com. Here's my question for you as a speaker or aspiring or emerging speaker. Will anyone pay for the topic that you want to speak on? In other words, we get calls in our office for uh, consultations, usually for uh, advice on speaking and consultations for the Bill Gove speech workshop. And people ask this every day. We get people calling in saying things like, God spoke to me last night in a dream and I want to give a speech about it. Or I just got divorced and I want to go to groups and talk about the pain that this has caused me. Or my kid decided not to get go to college and he's living in my basement and I want to talk to groups about that. Okay, these are all real issues, you might say, okay? But the question is, and this business is, and it is a business, who's going to pay for it? Who's going to pay to hear those messages? In the speaking business, you need a group that gathers. Number one, criteria, a group that gathers. And number two, a group that pays. Will they gather? Do they gather? <clears throat> okay. And will they pay? That's the question. Now, what do they pay for? Topics like uh, management, sales, team building, customer service, uh, all kinds of different topics like that where you can say, well, who's going to pay the bill? A corporation will pay. And that's in the corporate market. In the public market, who will pay? Well, people pay for personal development all the time, how to be more effective, how to be more productive, how to be mentally tough. That's good for me that they pay for that. They pay for lots of different topics like how to make more money, how to do marketing, how to do all sales, how to do all kinds of things, right? How to have a better marriage. There's a public market topic, okay? Motivation, inspiration, all those kinds of things. But half of the people that call our office every year, which is roughly 1,500 people, is about, we get about 3,000 calls a year from people for the Bill Gove Speech Workshop asking for help, and they want to be speakers. And about half the time, people are wanting to speak on a topic that no one will pay for it. So you have to ask yourself, will they pay for it? And then once you decide that they will, what will they pay? In other words, how much will they pay for your topic? It varies across the board. The more valuable your topic is to the bottom line of a company's balance sheet or an individual's life, the more they'll pay. Some criteria you have to have. Otherwise, you have a hobby. If you want to go speak about some of those topics they won't pay for, then go do it. You have a hobby, and you can join Toastmasters or go to Civic Clubs or your church, and you have a hobby, and that's fine, no problem. But if you want this to be a business where you make money, then someone's got to pay for that. There's got to be groups that pay. So something to think about. So just consider this for your business. And, and if you have a topic they won't pay for, get a topic they'll pay for. Really helps when you're trying to pay the bills. So I'm Steve Sebo for the publicspeakersblog.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.